that is what we are going to do next let's say i have my strange let's say strange equals let's say programming and then here i put a gene here So if I want to replace this gene with a lowercase, for example, I will just have to call my string, the string object, and say dot replace. So I start with what I want to remove, what I want to replace. In this case, gene. We are replacing this with a lowercase. So the gene comes, comma, and then what we want to add. That's a lowercase gene. So let's execute this command. So now we have programming. Okay, this has been done nicely for so this is how we replace characters if let's say you want to replace maybe a pattern let's take for example we have yeah, let me just change this you can also do that so you can say my strange does replace bring that pattern of interest and then let's see let's do this so it will also be replaced for us. Now let's switch to DNA sequences. Let's say DNA. Let's do it again. If let's say I want to replace the T's with U's, okay. Then I can just say DNA just replace T U okay so they have a place okay okay and you know that RNAs are the ones that contain the use okay so i have this done so with some additional commands you can actually change your dna sequence so convert them to rna sequences but this is something that i'm going to cover in another tutorial where you have to find the reverse and do the swapping and all that but uh, for now there's just a simple command to let you know that it's possible to convert the dna sequences to rna okay by performing some operations and then also swapping the t's with the use okay so now we have swapped the t's with the u take note that whatever we are doing here is just a return a copy of the sequences and then modifying that Okay, so if you want to assign that entire operation to a variable, then you have to add a variable. So let, let's just assume, let's just say that changing this T here to U gives us an irony or a transcript. Let's say irony. Then I can just say irony equals, and then I indicate my command like this. And then I execute it so now I can just print irony and I have it done nicely for me. Okay, so this is how we replace characters or substrings. Okay, in Python. So let's proceed. Now we are going to look at how to combine strings or sequences.